This match and all matches of SWC 2020 brought to you by Google Play. Find your new arena and discover the latest and greatest games today only on Google Play. Only two matches left in the whole tournament and it starts with this final semifinal. Stoic, make it a butt. Take it away. That's right, Mr. Chong Charmy. It's a rematch again. Here we go, guys. Best of five pre bands are out. Gianna and Wunsa are getting pre banned. Yeah, it definitely makes sense to take these two units out. Gianna probably top two LV Nat 5, and Wunsa very, very good into Mr. Chung's style of box. So, very, very normal pre bands here. And we see a CR first pick into a Chi Wu Gany that we've seen time and time again. Yep, we see Chami bringing in a Hathor, one other pick. It's going to be that Vela Jewel, Mr. Chung, with that Chiwu and Ganymede. Interesting take on the Vela Jewel at this point. It's almost like he's inviting Mr. Chung to take an Okeanos and then take one more unit. Uh, honestly, an Okeanos and then later down the line, a Gemini would be incredibly strong. Uh, Mr. Chung does lay down the Vigor because he wants to play a longer term game, but then, of course, lays down the Okeanos. Draft quite open ended here at this point. Yep, Chami looking to bring in two more units here. Are we going to see finally one of the new LD Nat 5s that is not a Cadiz? We'll see what he's got in store for us as he wraps up his draft with a Juno and a Neftis this time. So Neftis makes a lot of sense to me, and I'm not exactly sure about that Juno. Juno is usually picked because of the Vigor, the, the ability to use that strip to remove the anti-crit and the buffs that Vigor provides, but it's kind of like a little rock, paper, scissors. When you use it, you're kind of in the gridlock position, but Vigor also has the ability to provide defense breaks. Uh, so uh, Mr. Chung realizes he does lack immunity here, needs that protection from the Neftis, decides that he's gonna lay down a Wusa, which if the uh, Okeanos is banned out, makes him a little damage light here. But again, if you look at uh, Charmy's side here, Charmy doesn't have much healing either. So I think the Wusa is a great pick. Uh, of course, it gets banned out. Uh, Charmy needs to be able to land some form of aggression from a lot of defense breaks from this Neptis if he wants a chance to win. Yep, interesting bands here. Both teams have speed leads. This is going to be taking first turn here. It's going to be that Chiwu, and it is Chiwu who's going to be taking first turn, looking for a full team strip attack bar pushback. Yeah, and if you look at that speed of the Hathor, likely a Swift Hathor, but unfortunately not faster than the Chiwu. Just generally, Chiwus are ruined so much more quickly. And now, uh, Charmy is in the facing down a Gany Oki lockdown uh, if he if if this gets through. So um, Charmy looking like he's in a rough spot unless his Velajul can pop. Yep, that is correct. We see a second scale or possibly a third scale going out onto this Velajul. Chooses to go for that third scale, gets the defense break on top of the Veljul and the additional turn as well. We're gonna see this damage come in. No, not the damage. He's gonna go with that second skill to help push his attack bars up. Yeah, definitely wants to push the attack bars up, wants the Gany to move in front of the Neftis in case the Neftis procs. That's exactly what he was looking for. That Gany is not able to get the attack bar of that Veljul down. So if that Veljul does proc, that's pretty massive. Gany does proc there though, giving that Okeanos a chance to go again. Ooh, but the Okeanos does not get the reset on top of that Ciara. Ciara is going to be planting a bomb here and possibly getting a stun on a unit. Yeah, definitely needs to plant that bomb on that Okeanos. This is where speed buff is quite important because Okeanos is going to be able to move in front, but Okeanos resists that stun. Resists the stun that Veljul isn't going to be procking to get the, uh, the attack boost in the cleanse. Not happening here. Ciara's got another shot at a bomb, though. Wow, the super bomb gets resisted as well. It's like Mr. Chung is the master of resisting bombs here, has not had a single bomb landed on him the entire tournament. So Okeanos does not have to make a decision of whether, whether to pass the bomb or whether it's done. He gets to have it all. Now there's a Gany Oki lockdown coming. Exactly. A little bit of poke damage dropping that Bella Jewel there. Mr. Chung looking for a two turn sleep on top of that Hathor, not receiving it. Ciara with the additional turn, a little bit of poke damage, like a little bit of attack bar as well. Gonna see a third scale, hoping for a defense break, possibly onto the Ciara. Looking for the Ciara or potentially the Neftis for a higher chance of landing. Does land it and first shot on the Ciara and Prox. Lots of luck going the way of Mr. Chung. Most definitely lands that reset on top of the Hathor as well. Going for the attack break on top of that Vega. Lands it, glancing, does get applied to that Ciara as well. Chiwu looking to put this down for two, uh, two turns as well with the sleep. Ooh, there you have it, Mr. Chung with a very commanding first win.
I mean, RNG is the best strategy of this tournament so far. We saw Chiwu with skill one sleeping that Sierra at the end. We saw Okeanos resisting stun from the bomb. We saw lots of resist from Mr. Chang's side. Uh, it's almost like as, at this point, Charming just needs to go straight damage units because he can't land anything. RNG won't make it happen. Mr. Chung has too much of that on his side here. Yep, most definitely a lot of RNG on the side of Mr. Chung, but nevertheless, it was still a great draft from both. Yeah, definitely a great draft from both. And I would say uh, that uh, that Mr. Chung had that Chi Wu opening, so I do like his draft a lot there. Um, but, you know, of course, he was able to resist those bombs over and over and over and resisting stuns once he got bombed. I mean, that kind of RNG is how you win $100,000. So, I mean, we saw the RNG in APAC Cup, uh, and we're seeing that RNG in uh, APAC Cup 2.0 here. Yep, we definitely did. You can see the pre bands from last time. We're going into a round two with Mr. Chung and Chami. <laughs> And here's where we may, may see more LD units because now they're going to have to change up their pre-bans. So Wunso is in play, Gianna's in play. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Yan Hong pre-ban from Mr. Chung, but I haven't seen a Yan Hong being picked at all by Charmy. And Yan Hong kind of rounds out everything here. Uh, Neftis, of really course, does. a great pre-ban as well. Yep, Neftis is going to be pre-banned here, not the Yan Hong. Ganymede is going to be pre-banned by Charmy. And we've got Mr. Chung with the first pick. And Mr. Chung tends to favor the Hathor first pick over the Sierra. That's exactly what he goes for. Uh, Charmy instantly reaching for the Sierra. Okay, great response from him. Very standard so far. Yep, definitely very standard. Expecting to see a Chiwu coming out of Mr. Chung here. It could be even more standard. Definitely expecting a Chiwu because that's kind of what's been working for him is to be able to get that opening on his opponent. I think Charmy hasn't really been reading the speeds as accurately and can uh, fall trap to his opponent, just Chi Wu, and then, you know, controlling his team. Uh, but in this situation, there is no Wunsa being pre-banned. So that's probably why Mr. Chung decided not to go the Chi Wu route, because uh, he knows he's going to be outsped anyway. So good foresight by him, actually, to lay down that Velodrill Vigor and let that Wunsa on the other side. Yeah, well, Wunsa Fran coming in for Chami. Mr. Chung going to be wrapping up his draft after seeing a Wunsa and Fran. I would like to see some form of Molly and some form of Vertihile or some way to take turns over time and pummel damage into that Sierra. I think that's Mr. Chung's path to victory here. Uh, he is a little light on every, he's a little light on damage if you remove the Sierra from his team. So I think Mr. Chung's probably thinking that that's his avenue of attack here. Uh, and that's why Charmy's last unit has to be a damage dealing unit. Uh, and so Shiho is the pick here. Uh, and that also tells us he's going to let through quite a few fire units. Miho is the picture. Okay, we've seen Miho win a match before. Maybe it'll win again. Uh, if he t lays the Miho like this, he almost has to take out the Vigor, but lays out the Vertihile even though he's put in a Miho. So this is one of those weird picks uh, where you kind of confuse your opponent, and I guess you get an advantage here because now your Wunsa gets to go with an Oki follow-up. Yep, that's right. Well, we're going into a round two with Mr. Chung and Chami. Speed lead for Chami's side of the field. He's going to be getting first turn here. Inhale Magic comes out, does not get the strip on top of Masha. Does not get the strip on top of Masha, which could be giant, but we do have an attack buff bomb coming down on the side of Mr. Chung. Yeah, the Rain of Stones didn't stun everybody up, only getting that Vela Jewel, though. Bomb is going to be coming out on top of this Hathor. He's going to need this bomb to stun up this Hathor as well. But but at the same time, the Sierra is going to be exposed. The Masha is going to move next and could down the Sierra here. We're going to find out. Vigor going with the skill two, healing up, getting the anti crit up. There's the defense break. There's the additional turn. Masha was hoping to finish off the Sierra and did not finish it off here. Did not finish off that Sierra. Super tanky Sierra. Uh, and actually, even though that Masha did take a proc, that Sierra is still alive. Nevertheless, I think that Velodrill is going to move in front. Could be a lot of trouble for Charmy here. It definitely could be. We can see Okeanos going for a reset, and it does get resisted on top of that Velajul. Yeah, massive resist here. Also, that Okeanos not stunning up a lot earlier. Quite unfortunate. I mean, this Hathor is going to be able to put a lot to sleep here. Uh, Mr. Chung in a good spot. He has great deals. He's got speed buff. He's in a good spot. Yep, he didn't get the sleep, though, on top of this Okeanos. Not the end of the world for Mr. Chung at all. Vega landing those that three-turn defense break on top of that Ciara. Masha looking to finish off that Ciara here. Looking very good for Mr. Chung. Yeah, looking absolutely solid for Mr. Chung here. Charmy has no damage left. There's no way Charmy can win. 
really need to think about how not to get 3 0 here because that would be a little bit embarrassing at this point in the tournament here. So Charmy needs to be able to focus and regather himself. Ooh, Mr. Chung with a lot of RNG as well, getting those additional turns, and Mr. Chung taking round two away from Charmy. Yeah, a really solid draft, from Mr. Chung. I mean, I really like his style of drafting, able to use that Vanessa very effectively, that uh, Velodrill very effectively. Masha, able to understand that even though there's an attack buff bomb coming out, he has the ability to then pummel damage into that seal with the Masha. If he's able to read down the turns down that far, very tough to draft Mr. Chung when he's thinking down that far. Yeah, great RNG coming from Mr. Chung as well. So many resists coming from that man. A lot of resists. It's been working very, very well for him. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how you win SWC. You, you draft well, and you also have RNG on your side. You also have a Gianna in your back pocket. You kind of everything. You have the LD units, you got some runes, but you have RNG, the most important thing. And that just makes you unstoppable in this game. So uh, Mr. Chung showing us how to be a Summoner's War champion, or at least on the path to being a Summoner's War champion. It all starts with three word, three letters, R N G. Well, three bands coming out, guys. We're going to getting into a game three with Mr. Chung and Chami. Gianna and Wunsa are going to be the three bands. Chami looking to lock in that Hathor, taking it away from Mr. Chung. Yeah, so uh, Charmy opting for the Hathor instead of the Sierra first pick, as we saw before. Uh, we're going to see a split, of course, with the Chiwugani into a Vanessa Oki. Not opting for the Sierra, but taking a Vanessa instead. Wants to be able to live a little bit longer and put Mr. Chung into some awkward positions in terms of targeting and unit selection. Yep. Hovering over a Veljul right now. I was going to say they had a lot of very quick picks here. I was hoping one of them were going to take their time with it, definitely think things through. Because, I mean, this is a very important match for Mr. Chung, and he does. He's going to be taking the Praha here. Yeah, Mr. I'm not sure about Mr. Chung's draft this time because he lacks damage. If there's anything he lacks right now, it's a, a lot of attack bars uh, gained from Vertihile or damage, and he doesn't really have a lot. Uh, so Charmy's going with a Cadiz Vertihile, which is kind of interesting here. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Light Monkey should be the ban here. That's the main biggest source of threat. Uh, at the same time, uh, or Danny could be also be a potential ban here. Uh, but Mr. Chung didn't really bring a lot of damage with the first, first four picks. I would have liked to see some form of mollies and vigors on the left side. That probably would have won him the game. Uh, instead, we see some cool units as well. We see the Cadiz and the Vertihile instead. And we see a ban on the Chiwu giving up the Gany uh, Light Monkey lockdown. Yep. Well, resistance leads coming out for Mr. Chong. Hopefully he can resist more stuff coming into here. Chami with a speed lead, and Hathor is going to be taking that first turn for Chami. Yeah, we see a swift Hathor doing absolutely nothing because, again, RNG is on the side of Mr. Chung. That Ganymede has a thousand resistance, is not able to be uh, slept there. Ooh, but he was able to get strip reset by that Okeano. So we're going to see Cadiz possibly looking to get that branding effect on top of this uh, this Ganymede. Regardless though, at this point, you're looking at a Light Monkey that's moving after everything. Light Monkey's just gonna be able to put the team to sleep here. Ganymede does not need to use anything light. You're gonna see a Light Monkey, Gany Lockdown, very similar to a Gany Hathor Lockdown, except it's a monkey instead of a Desert Queen. Yep, there's the giant net coming out. Can he get a sleep on everybody? Is there gonna be any resistance for Chami's side of the field? It doesn't look like anybody's gonna be resisting, except the Cadiz. We've got Velojewel buffing up there with third skill. Yeah, and this is how he whittles his palm down. He has that Praha. He's got that Gany Light Monkey. He's procking like crazy. Got the RNG on his side. Mr. Chung is unstoppable here. Just an unbeatable combo when he has Gany Hathors, Gany Light Monkeys, procs, Giannas. Unstoppable. Very difficult to beat him. And Belgio going, going in with a little bit of punishment on top of that Vanessa. Looking upon more damage using that Gany. He can cycle so much attack bar with this Praha as well. Yeah, and we're seeing exactly why Cadiz is not meta. It's because it's doing absolutely nothing this game. It's sitting there, it's not even taking damage and being a meat shield for the tank. A Molly would have been a lot more, a lot better of a pick here, but again, Cadiz hasn't done very much. Well, he was able to strip that immunity right off the Ganymede and get an additional turn as well. So definitely doing something, but maybe not enough for Chami. He does get the branding effect here. Daydreams coming out, putting everybody to sleep once again. This Light Monkey King looking to finish off this Vanessa. Gets the additional turn as well, just for more damage coming in Vanessa's direction. 
Yeah, just so many additional terms, turns coming from the side of Mr. Chung. Everything comes with additional turns. Those violent runes come in sets of eight on his team. He's just got so many extra chances to proc. And you just see this light monkey and Ganny go over and over again. And there's nothing Charmy can do here. And we're looking at a 3 0. Yep, so many stuns, so many procs. Chami's just not able to get anything going here. And then we have the Veljul buffing up his team, and you can see how much attack bar that Pro is going to be gaining here. And just more damage, poke damage coming towards this Cadiz. Steel Magic coming out, getting the reset on top of that Okeanos. Yeah, I mean, this match is over here. The Cadiz did absolutely nothing this game, and the Hathor doesn't do anything in the face of RNG. And there we go, Charmy gets 0-3. There you have it. Mr. Chung gets the 3-0 on Chami, and he's going to be moving forward to our final. Yeah, I mean, Mr. Chung looked very pleased with